Hello, and welcome to the show. I am here today back on Test Drive Unlimited Platinum. As well, there's a lot to this mod, and there's some really quite cool stuff that I didn't get around to showing off last time, so I figured I'd, well, kind of want to play some more, basically. Not only, of course, are there a huge number of different cars added in this mod, there are also plenty of kind of special edition, special versions of cars and some quite crazy modifications that you can do to vehicles that you can't normally when it comes to test drive. Now, I've started off with the Supra. Uh, there are plenty of these Japanese tuner cars that do have an awful lot of options. Uh, we're going for the Supra in this particular instance uh, because, well, there's an awful lot and because you can convert it to a Fast and Furious car. Yes, you can actually go. Not not only is that an option, it is very expensive, uh, but you get the normal, you know, upgrade options that you would expect to get with any car in test drive. So you can get little performance increases up to uh, just shy of 400 horsepower Supra. It's pretty good. You can then make the Tom's Supra, if you so wish. Uh, there are different versions. and So you can go to 600 horsepower. The classes are a little bit wonky shall we say, <laughs> some of these. For example, we can get up to 600 horsepower in E-Class, yet that one's D-Class. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little wonky. We get TRD, uh, Supra, again, there are high versions, and the, the, there are body kits for it, and then there is uh, the, I guess kind of like the engine upgrades kind of go on for some of these in a little bit of a weird, a weird manner. Uh, we get, there we go, the Tom H's Weight Beast. Apparently, as is grey, but you know, there's 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 that uh, <laughs> that apparently is is C class. Uh, we can get D1 GP. Now I don't actually know if that does anything to the handling of the car. I will be honest; it might it might well do. Uh, AB flung uh, is one of the options. 800 horsepower, if you fancy that. Uh, <laughs> that puts it up to A class. We can have the Jun uh, Supra. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of that particular body kit, but you can get that if you want, or we can go for the Fast and Furious one. Now, as I said, this is the bloody expensive option. If you want to go over there, it's actually two options for it. You can have it with the roof up or the roof down. Um, it does put it up towards B-Class, but, I mean, it's pretty pretty nifty. It does all the interior as well, so we're going to go for... You know what? Let's go for the fully... Let's go for the fully convertible, why not? I've spent a bunch of time getting some money in this game to do silly things with, so why not get the convertible option? And there you go. You have now got 500 horsepower Fast and Furious Supra. As I said, oh, if we go through here, there we go. You've got all the interior uh, has been changed. I don't remember what the thing looked like from the film in terms of interior. I don't remember. There are, I, I presume there are interior shots at some point. Whoop, that car there had a... The truck had a massive crash trying to avoid me. <laughs> Amazing stuff. There are NOS models in the back. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I can't use. Pretty sure there's not... Unfortunately, there's not an option for that. I do like that all of these modded cars uh, with their interiors and so on do still have the sat -nav. If the car has, like, the sat-nav screen, uh, then you have, like, the little map uh, overlay appear in there. Now, that's something you got in the original uh, test drive cars, but it's cool that these modded vehicles add that in. I mean, this is a pretty, you know, pre pretty neat upgrade. I might not be the world's biggest, craziest Fast and Furious fan, but even I can appreciate having <laughs> these as an option. So they are about the most expensive conversion slash upgrade I have seen. But it's a pretty damn cool thing. You can do it with the Skylines, you can do it with a few others. I can't remember all of them now. It's kind of a bit of an experiment. There, as far as I can find, there isn't actually a list of all of these uh, converted cars anywhere for this. For them. There might be since I last looked, but by the time this video goes out. However, I couldn't actually find a completed list, so it's sort of a experiment around with cars, and you might find something quite interesting. So, yeah, the Supra, you can have quite a lot of fun with. Apparently, not so much for me. Well, I was... Uh, I mean, it's surprisingly apt. Unintentional, surprisingly apt. Now, the next vehicle I want to take a look at is a little bit more unusual one. It's from Jeep. The Grand Cherokee is something that we can modify here. Now, I think if we go into street racing technology, there we go. So, the game starts off with your normal Cherokee, and you can choose to convert it to 
the Trackhawk, which is a pretty crazy vehicle, and I believe, I should actually let it spin around, I believe it will have, like, the correct sort of body kit, so, I can't actually see, you can't really see very well from that, there you go, that's the front bumper, you know, it gets beefed up and whatnot, you get different lights, you get all the bits and pieces, you get 707 horsepower out of it, that's a lot for an SUV, I quite like the system they have here of, you know, the, oh, this is a 37,000, pound upgrade from the stand. I quite like the sort of kind of conversion too. However, I would like to point out something with the Jeep though. This is why the Jeep is such a fearsome car whenever you come across it in events. In E-Class, you can do the normal upgrade and it'll stay in E-Class. And the maximum tier upgrade for the normal vehicle gets it to 846 horsepower. Not 60 in under 4 seconds in the Jeep and it's still, yeah. There is a reason why when this thing turns up in the various events that you can do around the place, uh, it's terrifying. You do not really want to have to race against this. That's silly amounts of power and speed. As I said before, you know, the class system is a little bit questionable for some of the vehicles. This is definitely one way to go <laughs> very, very quick indeed. Um, yeah, I kind of find it entertaining that the normal upgrade is faster than the Trackhawk upgrade. Is it, it's not as cheap though. I think the tra track hawk upgrade, yeah, that's much a much more affordable way of doing things. Even if it does jump the class up, but still, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty bonkers vehicle. However, again, th there is something just that little bit more special that I want to have a go with mostly today. Of course, naturally, that is to do with classic muscle cars. I've got a Pontiac GTO here. Now there are a few of these muscle cars that also have some fairly fairly impressive upgrades. If we go to the normal uh, Pontiac one, we get a decent amount of power. We get 468 horsepower, which is, you know, quite a decent amount of power in a in a classic muscle car. However, we go to Chevrolet Racing. I don't quite know why it's called Chevrolet Racing for this. Either way, uh, you've got, fa I say fairly normal, it's 600 horsepower or 800 horsepower. I mean, that'd be quite mighty when it comes to G-Class. Or you can go for a 2,000 horsepower drag car. Now... <laughs> It does jump it all the way up to A class. However, I want a 2,000 horsepower drag car very much in my test drive unlimited. So that is what we are going to do. Much cheaper than if you were to do this with <laughs> the, uh, the Fast and Furious upgrade. Much cheaper. 160,000 for this much power. Yes, I want to buy all of that. The vehicle is tuned. I'm now slightly terrified of it. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing with the 2,000 horsepower car. <laughs> oh, does it wheelie? That is a question and a half. Okay. Do you go for a wheelie? If we... Oh, it bobbles. Uh, it's not quite lifting the front off of the ground, but it's certainly rapid. Uh, <laughs> okay, the handling is sketch. He, you can't really turn when you're on power because the front's lifting up off the ground. So you have to be off power to make a corner. I mean, in true dragster fashion, you would kind of... Oh, that's a car. I don't know whether that spawned in or whether I was busy looking elsewhere. If the front wheels are on the ground, it's okay. However, in true kind of dragster fashion, the front wheels are not really very often on, on the floor. Uh, or, yeah, they're barely touching for most of this. So these fast corners up here are literally <laughs> front wheels in the air. I don't think this is going to work when it comes to a race. However, it might be interesting to try and find out. Uh, Speed-wise, it is phenomenally fast, as you can imagine. Uh, can I get... We're not even... This is not even necessarily the best place. I'm just, this is a road where I am by. We're doing 250. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh dear! Things are going badly wrong a little bit here. I'm trying to break. Break! Please slow down, I don't have a parachute. Oh, we did a fun little dance there, and then we came to a halt. Oh, yeah, okay, it's fast. Yeah, funnily enough, this much power does have a profound effect on your vehicle. Ah, oh, <laughs> you can't really, you can kind of almost get a wheelie to a, you kind of reverse and whoop, there we go. <laughs> Sadly not a, not quite a proper wheelie launch. Still. It does, it does go for a wheelie. If you get it started moving around from side to side, it gets ready. It's kind of like... Kind of reminds me of the old Street Legal Racing Redline cars. If you gave them, like, way too big of a drag slicks and you tried to take a corner. 
and like they had so much grip that it would shake itself until it almost grip rolled and fell over. Sort of. In a, in, in, this is a much better drive than those things were. Um, but there we go. Yeah, I mean, the actual handling of the car is I mean, way more... Way, way more difficult, way different to just a lot of power shoved into the vehicle. It is not steering down here, especially not if you're on, on the throttle. That is, I can't really dodge out the way of cars. I certainly can't turn right back onto that. Oh, and then we get all sorts of wobbly and uh, out of control. So, I mean, this is a, it's a full conversion to the car, but it is more than just a simple uh, add a thousand horsepower. Oh, there's a one, 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 one. Come here. Come here. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, wait. You will actually have grip, though. What are you doing? Like, he's randomly stopping. Hello! I am one of the very few cars that could probably outdrag you. Um, however, you will outturn me here. Oh, you've <laughs> I think the front of it's so low, it keeps getting caught on curbs and stuff. Amazing. You know what? I'm going to go try and find a race that the drag car will go in. I'm not quite sure what races the drag car will go. It's certainly not going to go in an E-Class race. Uh, not going to go around the... I do not want to go around the island. Have we got any ones that are unlocked for just general vehicles? It can be like a beginner race. doesn't really matter. Cars only. Here we go. What does that look like? I mean... There's a little bit of squiggling. Screw it. Let's go find out. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be... This is probably not going to go very well. What are you going to have me up against? Uh, it was a CTSV, Subaru, BMWs, Evo 10, Audi of some description. Now, I will launch... Wait, well, I will launch so quickly I'll be in the back of the BMW. Goodbye, all of your puny cars. Look at it go. <laughs> it's just gone, and then we stem on the brakes, because I can't make this corner. Oh dear. Uh, well, I have got the patch for this that does make the AI drivers uh, considerably more competent. Uh, they're still iffy at times, and sometimes the balancing of the cars in a race is a bit squiffy as well. Uh, well, I mean, I've made it very squiffy, uh, but sometimes, like with the SUVs, if they've got them upgraded or something, they are otherworldly sorts of fast. Uh, this is, I mean, normal... Uh, weird sorts of fast we've got going on with my car. I mean, it's, <laughs> it is leading. I feel like all it takes is a small twisty section. We are five seconds in the lead with the drag car, but one twisty section and five seconds will go really quickly because we're going to have to be patient, 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 patient. Wait, wait, wait. It's still waiting. Don't really go on the throttle too much. Just wait for it. No, it's still going to have to be waiting all around here. Please don't let the AIs actually be driving this well. Nope, can't, <laughs> can't do that. As soon as I tried giving that any more welly, it was just, nope, I want to understeer off towards the edge of the circuit now. And I feel like if I get this stuck off the circuit, it might be quite difficult to get it back on again. Uh, still, we go patiently around a corner. Uh, in fact, these guys here are not actually doing quite that much. Again, they're probably D-class cars we're up against in all of this. If maybe not even that, they may well be E-class cars. So, you know, I've got quite the car rider. Probably, I can't actually go very fast here. These sort of corners are the worst bits for me. Low speed corners, everyone's slow at, but the high speed turns, I have to be super slow at to have no grip. Um, and the, low, and the, the AI can be braver than me. Uh, they have closed the gap now to three seconds. Oh, this sort of corner here, this is horrible stuff for the drag car. Come on. Just going to sit and wait, aren't we? Sit and wait, sit and wait, and then it will straighten up. I promise. It will straighten up in a second car, and then we can use the 2,000 horsepower. Go! <laughs> 2,000 horsepower. Oh, abandon it all. Abandon it all. 2,000 horsepower was silly there. Please, they're catching. The Audi is heading towards us. No, we've got to be careful here because that's a... No, it's not a corner for them, but it really is for me. Now we can just go for it. It'll be too... Oh, no, maybe not go for it because there's a tree there. It's fine. It's a little sketchy across the bumps. <laughs> and we did it. Oh. I, I like my... Funnily enough... I really quite like my drag car. I do, I do quite like my drag car. Um, that's twenty-eight thousand. I mean, it's not going to be actually that long until we can make back the money that uh, that it cost to do all of that. What race is that? It's B class. We can't again. There's a fair amount of these that uh, we probably can't quite. Enter. I can't. I should probably have looked at all of the different events that were <laughs> around. Oh wait, there's a. I know what event we can do. Tackling the hairpins. This should be fun. <laughs> can I? Right. Now, I remember, this is actually not a, it's a not bad race. Making some money. It's a good fun race. Decent pay. Um, not too long a race. However, I did this in a Vulcan or something. And it's tough. Oh, I say it's tough. I, I say that as I did 20 seconds quicker. I did it with a Vulcan, though, which is a, you know, that's a bloody quick car. 
Do we reckon we can finish this? I'm not even sure I can do it in four minutes. Ten. I'm going to be honest. Because I know the road this is going to be on. Yes, once I get out of a hairpin, I have phenomenal speed. And the run to the finish line on this, I'm pretty sure, is just one long straight. Which is good for me. However... Well, it's a challenge, you know? It's it's a challenge. Can I drive a 2,000 horsepower dragster down a winding mountain road? These are the you know, the fun fun part of the Test Drive Unlimited map, is you do get some really... Admittedly, elevation changes are very nasty here. Uh, the elevation changes are quite crazy, and you spend more time flying the car down here than you do actually driving it. But you do get some really, really good roads. There are a few very, very good mountain roads. I mean, Test Drive Unlimited 2, of course, you had a lot of... Uh, dirt roads as well to play with. There are some fantastic rally roads. Uh, here, it is all tarmac roads, really, that, that that you get, but there are some very good ones. You will want a car that is compliant across the bumps, though, and in many ways, driving things like a Vulcan, like a McLaren Senna or whatever down here, uh, I think they're the two cars I have probably driven this road with. Uh, they are actually less fun than a more basic car, like a 205 T16. Brilliant, because you can actually be a bit more aggressive uh, around these corners, across these crests. Whereas with the Vulcan, with the Senna, uh, you kind of ping off of a lot of stuff. This is... <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm just having to be slow. It's one of these, like, this car's... Well, your sense of speed with this vehicle is completely destroyed. Uh, because... Yeah, okay, I'm not going very fast around these corners, but to be fair, everything's going to be a little slow around these. But the way you pick up speed in this car is just so almost surreal compared to what I'm used to driving. That, yeah, any sort of sense of speed is a little bit broken. If I manage to beat the bloody... What is it, 315? Then I'm impressed. I, sh I surely think that it can't do it. Although this is, weirdly, a little better on the bumps than the Vulcan is. I feel like I trust this car a touch more even though it doesn't really feel like it's turning. I do feel like I trust this more if I bobble a curb somewhere than I did with the Vulcan. I guess perhaps it's a bit heavier. The tyres are also, I would imagine, super sticky uh, drag tyres, or the equivalents of kind of mock drag tyres, uh, because it is actually putting 2,000 horsepower down. Not too badly. I have all the assists turned off on this, so... Yeah, it is putting its 2,000 horsepower down remarkably well. Now we're into a really fiddly section. Yeah, can't really do much here. I guess, as I said with that previous race, I'm helped slightly by the fact that this is all low speed. Uh, it's the higher speed bits that really absolutely kill a car. Well, higher speed corners that kill a car like this. Uh, actual high speed sections, fantastic, because I can unleash the power. But yeah, high speed corners are where we lose out to the AI in terms of time trial. I don't really know. Come on, there's a straight part here. Unleash! Well, wait, hold on, get a straight line. Car, please go to straight line. Now we unleash the fury towards the next corner. Uh, briefly, though, then we have to get on the brakes again because we've got another hairpin coming up. Uh, 3.35 is what we are looking to beat here. Can we get onto the back straight <laughs> in a reasonable amount of time? I don't know. I don't know if we can do it. Come on, Pontiac. Make the corner. There we go. Now, is this the final straight we're coming up to here? So, it's not far until the Vulcan was across the... You know what? This might actually be able to get the Vulcan just from this part here alone. We've got it in a straight line. Come on! We could be really, really close in terms of time. I think we're going to actually break the record. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? That seems strange. <laughs> I could probably have driven that one faster in the Vulcan, let's be honest. I, can't even, I might have spun, to be honest, because uh, of the cross, across the bumps. Um, 3.14. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Yeah, apparently a lot of the stop-start stuff I can get away with. Weirdly. Feels awful to drive. It really does feel so slow down there. Immediately helped by the 250 mile an hour sprint to the finish line, naturally, but still. <laughs> oh, well, that was a thing. Shall we have one more race with the crazy, crazy 2000 horsepower drag car? Uh, which one? There's, a, there's another time trial -y event that I think I can get. Oh, I thought it was up here somewhere. Uh, I thought it was that one, but it might. No, it isn't that one. Where is it? There's another. There's another one. Basically, it's a very, very tight, twisty circuit. There we go. That should be fun. Cars only? I mean, I don't think that's quite the one I was looking for, but it'll do. <laughs> More tight, twisty, nasty corners. We've got a 242 to try... Well, 242 is our, is our record. This is our racing against people. Can we go better than a 242? I think that was with a Senna as well. Oh, no, they've got a... <laughs> they've got an SUV. That will be of many powers and little control. Uh, <laughs> you know, that will be... Fast, knowing that thing, but it looks like a Velociraptor or something. It's probably 
I know you can buy the pickup, so it's probably the pickup with an upgrade kit on it, the F100 or F150, sorry. Oh no, I'm not even going to try that, because I'm not really sure about my grip here. You know, just do your thing, Audi. We'll get you when we get to a straight. Well, I hope I'll get you to when I get to a straight. Christ. Come back here, big Audi. And patience, 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 patience. Floor it! And then very, very quickly onto those brakes. <laughs> I'm glad the brakes are good. <laughs> you know, you kind of need them to... Well, you'd hope them to be, because otherwise you would be in trouble. Oh, I have a driving meter. Completely ignored that. Uh, probably shouldn't have done. This will be a Klingon for dear life more than anything, though. Oh... I wanted to go up the inside. Wasn't sure how much space I was going to have. Here we will have a dive. And then we will run very not wide on the exit. However, the Audi is unable to right. capitalise on any of that. Uh, no, you're not turning left, are you? Bugger! <laughs> this is a stupid race. I'm enjoying it, though. <laughs> how to make the game weirdly challenging on some races and completely walk over on others. Just depends if you're using a drag car sensibly or not, and this is foul race, when would we ever use a drag car sensibly? And around we go. Nope. That's oh, it's starting bucking around. So yeah, if you turn and you do something silly with the throttle or the brakes, it gets really, really unhappy with you. We have managed to actually now eke out a little bit of a gap, and now we get a nice straight part of the circuit. Jump on the brakes. I have no idea what class we're up against. I think it might be a D-class. I think that Audi might be a D-class vehicle. Again, these are much, much lower class. I don't have, otherwise I would do them. I don't have any A-class races unlocked, uh, unfortunately, at this time. Uh, but, you know, I suspect outside of a very few, you'd probably still have issues with this car. We'll be up against, you know, the fastest of the fast cars. And on anything other than incredibly long straights, they will murder this. If D-class car, I mean, I had real trouble passing the Audi. Okay, I could have probably been a bit ruder in getting past it and whatnot. But, uh... Yeah, for quite a lot of this race, we were having troubles trying to make my car go around the corner. So against actual A-class competition, that's not so great. Uh, but it will, will only be on specific circuits. But that's kind of the point of this. I like that we have these insane specialised cars. I like that we have these special editions uh, that you can unlock, that you can purchase. Some of them more expensive than others in the form of the Fast and Furious cars. But they're a neat thing to have, most definitely, uh, as an option. Uh, for me, though, of course, the, drag the dragsters always worthwhile. You get things like the, the Noble uh, M12, you can convert it into the Rosian Q1, if you prefer that look of the car, and all of that sort of thing. So, yeah, there's quite a few of these sort of full conversions. Oop, and that's a corner we'll understeer around. However, it won't matter. We are plenty far enough away from the field. We will cross the line <laughs> with the GTO. Did not get anywhere close to that. I didn't think, oh, I didn't think I would. Didn't think we'd beat the... Uh, Twisty Hill Climb, I'm pretty sure that was with the Senna. I, I drove around there, so... Uh, yeah, pretty expectable amount of time down. Some ways a bit better than you could possibly... Uh, could possibly expect from a full-on drag car. So yeah, I'm still thoroughly enjoying the Test Drive Unlimited Platinum mod. It is a mod that I, yeah, very, very highly recommend. Uh, you get all sorts of... It's, it's all sorts of interesting vehicles in this case, customizations to vehicles, it will just reignite your interest in Test Drive. I say Test Drive games, but in, certainly in Test Drive Unlimited if you haven't played it for a while, because there is now so much more to do, so many different interesting cars to drive, and then you get these kind of crazy custom things. I've seen... I have a Dodge Challenger. You can turn it into the Hellcat Challenger. You can also get um, uh, Rocket Bunny body kits and all of that sort of thing for them. Uh, so, yeah, there is, there is plenty of... Of things to be doing to the cars. Ooh, that's a small bit of a gap there. And if you want to go at 300 miles an hour in... I would presume 300 is possible in this car. I just haven't found... You know what? I don't actually know where the best long straight road is going to be in this. Uh, let's just, before, I, before I finish, I was going to end it there. But before I finish, shall we have a look? See if I can actually get 300 miles an hour out of the drag car. This bit here looks about as good of a road as any. Let's go and give it a try, shall we? I'll have to do a three-point turn, I imagine, to get you... Uh, uh it just about works. <laughs> it's just about good enough. Hello, Corvette. Uh, let's unleash the Pontiac. It will work up until I have to dodge out of the way of something. Like, oh, traffic. Here we go. Come on, GTO. We can crack the 300 mile an hour mark down a public road. It's not even a motorway, really. It's just one long, straight road. Up to 250 still pulling. 
Oh, uh, it's almost topped out. Come on, there we go. It's, it's up to 300. That's going to be a very big crash. And that's the end of the Pontiac. Definitely the end of that AI car, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> so bloody fast. Yeah, I really recommend this mod. As ever, I shall link it in the description if you want to download it and give it a try. It's an awful lot of fun. Uh, as I said, so many cars and so much crazy interesting things to do. It really is like, well, it's almost like playing a whole new game when you go back to it. Still occasional funky driving physics, but good fun nevertheless. That'll be it from me though. Thank you all very much for watching and until next time, a goodbye.